Brown made his return last night after missing the last 17 games. He scored 24 points and was an assist shy of a triple-double in the overtime win against the Clippers. The Lakers are currently a game out of a playoff spot, and after the game, LeBron said, quote, we're all ready to make this push. Tomorrow night, the Lakers will be on the road to face the Warriors, and if that wasn't enough, the LA Times reports the Lakers gave the Pelicans five different trade scenarios for Anthony Davis. They got options. So, Shannon, what is next for the Lakers? I expect them to go on a run. <clears throat> Their best player is back. He's rested and he's healthy. He's going to have to play his way back into, uh, you know, peak game conditioning. Mm -hmm. And eventually, as it progresses, he will trust that growing more and more, knowing that he's 100% healthy. And he'll be LeBron James all over again. Um, he'll shoot the ball better um, than what he did last night. I'm looking at their schedule at Golden State, at Indiana, Boston, Philly, and Atlanta. I think they're going to be a worst-case scenario, 4-1. and one. Maybe 3-2 and two would be the worst, but I can see 4-1 and one in this scenario, Skip Bayless. They're about to make this move. LeBron James <clears throat> is getting ready to show the world why he's the best player in all of basketball because I think sometimes when you're away from the game, other guys are doing spectacular things. James Harden has been, the last month, he's been phenomenal. But you know and I know the baddest man that can dribble a basketball on this planet called Earth is Goat James. Hmm. I, I was thinking he's going to play against Goat James in Golden State on Saturday night, but that's just me. I don't know. That, I was don't thinking that other guy. <laughs> so you're predicting four and one on this road trip leading That'll up to the That'll be a best case break. scenario, worst oh. case, three and two. Well, well, wait a second. I can't, I can't keep up with <laughs> yeah. you. You keep amending your predictions. Skip, you, look who we got. they're going to go on we a run. We got Golden State. Boston and Philly. Okay, I'm trying to figure out who you're predicting they're going to lose to. I tell you. Well, are they going <laughs> to are they going to beat Golden State? Is Clay playing or is he not playing? Okay, let's say he doesn't. Let's just. We got this. him. You really? got him without Clay Thompson. Yep. That's it. Yep. That closes yep. the deal. Yep. Man, I, I'd put a case on that right Boy. now. No, we don't worry Call about in, no man. case. We got okay. enough cases. Okay, I don't know. We gonna beat Indiana. I would hope so with no Victor Oladipo. I would hope, but you know what? And we're gonna get, and at, we're gonna get Boston at at Philly. You you're gonna have a hard time at Philly because they are really good. That's my pick they are, to win the. They East. are really really good. Yep, and they had a big win last night, and Jimmy Butler didn't contribute much to that win because Ben Simmons and the big guy, whew, Joel Embiid. They, oh, they oh Joel the, Embiid is a monster. They Skip. took the game. And over. You look, that's Ooh. always been the the recipe for beating Golden State. Punish him on the boards. Everybody doesn't have seven foot two Joel no. Embiid though. Yeah. That's skilled. Yeah, and Ben Simmons played big last night too. Oh, he was a monster. Here's what's gonna happen. How guy is, yep. Skip, the guy can't shoot outside of six feet. No. But I tell you what, he can do. He can post up just about anybody. He can. He can switch off if you play it outside. He can switch off on anybody. Very few point guards can do what he does. Yep. Plus, he played with poise last night. I watched a lot of it. I was going back and forth with the Lakers, yeah. but. He, he played like a man last night, and he's, it's taken this him a while. This is where they missed Clay Thompson, Skip. Yep. No, I know. Because guess who would have been having Ben Simmons? You can make the case. Yep. Yep. Here's what's going to happen. But you know the Lakers, I don't yep. worry about anything. Yep. I, I loved what I saw from Brandon Ingram last night. It seems like he was un, unbothered, undeterred, that, look, look, I might be here in a week. I might not be. But I'm just going to go ahead and play my game and let the chips fall where they may. The reason you're going to have a hard time going on a run, as you say, is that about four of these young upcoming potential stars for the Los Angeles Lakers are going to go on a run to New Orleans pretty soon. <laughs> and to so me, I, I'm, I'm betting this trade is going to happen before the deadline. Again, the LA Times has reported that on the table for the Pelicans is Lonzo and Kuzma and Brandon Ingram and Zubats and a first rounder. And I know New Orleans got its pride up and its back up right now. Can't force his way out of here. But I think Dell Demps will come to his senses, see the light by next Thursday, 3 o'clock Eastern time. That would be on the evening they play at Boston. And he'll just say, I know this is the best deal. I'm going to be able to salvage out of this. And it's not salvage because it's really good. It could well, really here's the thing, though, Skip, back on the I'm going to have to rescind that. Now, if they make this trade and it go down against Boston, that means they're going to be without three players. That's what so I'm saying. So they're going to be shorthanded. But, I, don't see them hap I don't see that happening. But watch, like when Cleveland made that trade a couple years ago yeah. and they went to Atlanta and had like eight players and <laughs> ended up winning the game anyway. 
The problem is that the drumbeat is gonna grow louder and louder, I think, for this trade. And mm -hmm. the young Lakers are gonna get more and more distracted and maybe disheartened by this prospect. Mm. Not that they don't wanna be Pelicans, but it's just gonna discombobulate the basketball team on the road as they have to play hard games. Indiana's still a hard game even without Victor because they're still a good basketball team. So they my, are. Right. You know, they're all right. But, but again, the point is, if, if you start to get distracted by the impending trade, I don't know that they're going to be locked in for Golden State, Indiana, Philly, Boston. My recommendations, do not watch any television and get off social media until next Friday. That is a good recommendation. I would agree with that. But you know these kids? I don't think that's going to happen. And I do think Just they're going to Just play Fortnite. Have, don't they like Fortnite time. still? Yeah. Well, well, you could do that. But the point is, if, if they struggle, they're going to be in a pretty deep hole coming out of the break, but I think they're gonna come out of the break with LeBron and Anthony Davis. And Well, you got this, you got the yeah. schedule, the Lakers schedule right there in front of you. What do you think they're gonna do come up the, coming off this road trip? You mean out of the, off the road trip? Yeah. I don't What's have their that. record? I, I only did the- They got at Golden State, at Indy, oh, at no, Boston, no, I know that. at Philly. Oh, what do I yeah. think now? Yeah, I, what's their record? Again, I, I, I think the team's gonna get distracted and I think they're gonna have a hard time. I think they might just win the one at Indiana. That might be the only one they win. Man, you crazy. Well, until the deadline. Then they got Atlanta just after the deadline and before the, the All-Star break. Yep, but you're right. We're about to go on a run here. Yeah. All right. Well, I just might told be you. Might be five and two. Yeah. Might be. Well, what is it? I like it. Yeah. I like my chances. You know what? Atlanta's no pushover now either. They've been playing. Pushover. High level. Cream yeah. puffs. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, given. So five and two. Wait, what? How did, how did you get seven games out of this? Because after the All-Star break, we got Houston right oh, after the break, oh, and then so we got Houston the Houston at Houston. home, but then on okay. the road against New Orleans and Memphis. So mm, I think yeah. only two home games in the entire month of February. Wait, they go well, to New Orleans? Yes. Now that yep. would be a two show. New Orleans. What, what if half the Lakers are Pelicans that night? That changes. Ooh, that would be interesting. That's an interesting one. I'd watch that. We'd be that. just fine. Yeah. The confidence yep. from this guy yeah. now that LeBron's huh. back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh goat, oh goat, James. We feel it from here, even though you're not even with us. We just yeah. sense it. I don't know where the celebration was this morning. We didn't even have it from I you. I got a feeling the gold master be out on Monday and not for who you think, Skip Bayless. Really? Yeah. Oh, in honor of Tom Brady? No. Huh. Mm -mm. Well, you can see it to goat me. Oh, James going to do something Saturday night. But two, two Mondays, give it up. You give in, Tom Brady's the goat. Didn't you say that? Yeah. Okay. I might get me a Jerry Goff jersey. I'm going to try to find me a Jerry Goff jersey while I'm down here. Really? Well, good luck with that because yeah. I don't know what you're going to do with it because I have to burn it. <laughs> well, I'm going to wear it on Monday. Really? Yeah. Jared Super Bowl MVP. Don't Jerry get Goff. ahead of yourself, Shannon. He yeah. went to Jared. <laughs> he went to Jared. Well, I, I'm going I like to that. Tom. Well done. Tom if you go to Tom, you can't go wrong, at least if you think about There's what he's done back. in the past. And we are going to talk about Brady's legacy mm -hmm. next, but first... The big game. It's just two days away. So it's time to play the DraftKings Championship Millionaire Contest. They've got $3 million in total prizes and a $1 million top prize. Just use the promo code FS1. Here's how to play. New England, Los Angeles. The championship game is finally here. And we're making super bigger than your Sunday night bowl of queso. Because...